it's about time I did a calibration on this incubator. I've had it for quite a while and I haven't actually done it yet. So what I'm going to do is open it up and clean the fan. I think the fan maybe have collected a lot of dust and is not circulating properly. So I'll clean off the fan and then I'll turn on the incubator and I'll use a, this is a barbecue thermometer. Um, you stick it into meat. So I'll use that to determine the temperature versus what it's saying on the front. And then I'll calibrate it because uh, this is pretty new so it should be pretty accurate. So I'm not 100% confident that the temperature in this is correct. I suspect it may be a little bit low, which makes the hatch take longer for a lot of the birds. Um, I'd rather have them all hatching at the same time, especially if the heat is not dissipating from the center uh, as well as it should. So first of all, I'm gonna open it up and then get the fan clean and then we'll get in and look at the calibration. I've opened it up. It, it, I can't open it fully because there's some wiring there. So what I'm gonna do is just on the fan, I can see a little bit of dust and grime. I'm just going to get some something in there just to wipe around it. Get some of the dust off. There's not as much as I thought, so it's actually not too bad. But I'll just give it a quick clean. So I'll clean that off. Got a bit of gunk on on there. Not not too much, so it was actually pretty good. I've just switched the incubator back on. Now I'm going to run it up to heat, test it with the thermometer, and then we'll calibrate it if it's out of whack. I suspect it is, but I could be proven wrong, so we'll have to wait and see. The incubator is now at temperature. Uh, I've just inserted the meat thermometer, I've just inserted in the side. There's a hole there for where I put the water in as well. And I'm just keeping the end of the thermometer at the same height of the sensor that sits inside there, which is just sort of hovering above where the eggs would be, like pretty close to the top of the eggs. Um, so as long as it comes up, because it's sitting around 38 at the moment, and that's sort of where I want this to come up to. And we're at 36.5 at the moment, so it's getting close. It's still, uh, still rising, so maybe it's actually pretty good. If it comes to within half a degree, I probably won't adjust it, because I'll, I can't be that precise. 7.5, so that's actually, this is correct. Yeah, point one on the front. Let's see if it keeps going up. No, it's not going up. That's interesting. So that we're about point. But look at the front. Point. About point seven, point eight. Off. Now I'm not exactly where the sensor is, so maybe there's a little bit difference there. But really, I think I need to actually. It's more than half a degree out, so I think I need to make an adjustment. That's a bit concerning. Okay. Time to make some adjustments into the actual uh, computer system in here. Each incubator be different, but what I'm going to do now is adjust this temperature. So this is the actual temperature, it says 38.1, but my thermometer is saying 37.3. So I'm going to take that down and set that. So that put it at 37.3, which is in line with my thermometer. And now what it'll do, it'll start increasing because that is below where the settings are. So it should start to bring it up. And that's all you have to do once in a while to get it to actually be in line with the true temperature. And you can see it's starting to tick up now, so 37.4, it's getting close, it should tick to 37.5 any second now. Is it still working? Yep. So we're now in the range. So that's, that's great. So I'm, I'm configured now, so I'm ready for the next batch. And hopefully it hatches a bit more consistently. It's worth doing this update once in a while.